Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In the last video I showed you how you can use Magit, the Git client for Emacs, to interactively rebase your history of local commits before pushing your changes to the remote repository. In this video I want to apply the same principle using a different approach. So let me switch to my Emacs window over here, I already have screen key active. Uh, I have a commit over here that remains to be pushed to the remote. And this commit uh, it makes a, a small documentation change to a single file. But before I actually push this, I realized that I need to make another change, which is the exact same as this one, to another file. They are uh, intimately linked. They are uh, closely related. But I don't want to create a new commit out of this patch over here. I would rather take those changes and merge them into the commit that I already have over there. So the way to do this is as follows. Let's stage this and now let's hit C which is to initiate a commit. And then we want to use one of those two options over here. I will use the option instant fixup. The difference between fixup and squash is that Fixup will not preserve any commit messages. It will just take the staged changes and uh, merge them into the commit that you select. Whereas Squash will also preserve a commit message and meld it into the body, place it inside of the body of the commit message that you are merging it into. So anyhow, let's use instant fixup. It is now asking me for a commit, so take these staged changes and merge them into that commit. It happens to be the commit and point, the commit at the very top. So I just press Ctrl C twice to confirm my changes. So let's see what we have. Before I proceed, you can see this is the state of the commit before the instant fixup. So a single file has been changed and this is the diff that was produced. Let's see now. I now have uh, two files that have been changed and I have uh, those two changes. So again, I have been able to preserve the commit message, uh, but I have, always, I have just expanded uh, the scope of the changes. So again, this is a convenient way to keep my history of local commits clean so that when I push to the remote, I push uh, a single commit rather than two or three or four commits. This way it is easier for me to keep track of my history of changes. It is easier for others uh, to follow along. Uh, so I can now push this without any problem. It is clean and tidy. Uh, I will link to the previous video as well because it is uh, directly related uh, to this one. Uh, so that's all for now folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.